PP style bait fish have become staples in many saltwater fishermen's boxes. And this tutorial will offer some tricks on how to tie them more easily. For a hook, I really like this Gamagatsu SC15, and this one is in size 1 aught. Start your thread near the eye of the hook. You will want a strong thread like this Danville 210 flat waxed. Bring your thread to the bend of the hook with smooth wraps, then rotate your fly upside down. Cut a few strands of crystal flash and tie them in in the center of the clump right under the bend of the hook. Then fold the strands angling towards the eye backward and then tie them in as well with tight wraps. Then cut them to length right about to the end of the hook shank. Rotate your fly to the upright position and clip some strands of fine pearl flashaboo and tie them in in the same manner as a crystal flash. Now clip a very small amount of the top color fiber. EP fiber, or the more affordable Congo hair, work very well for this fly. Cut it in half and save one of the pieces. Tie in your fiber on top of the hook shank in the same way you tied the flashaboo. Then rotate your fly upside down, cut a small amount of the undercolor fiber and tie it in under the fly. You will want to make sure that one part is on one side of the hook, then rotate the other side around the other side of the hook. Then make sure you bring your thread up the hook shank just a bit. Rotate your fly to the upright position again, then take the other piece of the top color fiber you cut and wrap it around the under part of the fly angling up and back and tie that in. Then rotate the fly upside down and do the same thing with the under color fiber. Make sure and pull back all the fibers so they are angling back and out of your way. Bring your thread up the hook shank slightly and rotate your fly over once again. As you can see, tying it in this way allows the fibers to cover the hook shank a bit and you won't see the tie-in spots. Okay, so we are going to do this again multiple times. Try to end very close to the eye of the hook. I generally do this about four more times on each color. You really want to use very little fiber in each tie-in because it builds up quick. Keeping this sparse and see-through is desirable. You can smooth out and build a small head on the fly before whip finishing it. Now we are going to trim the fiber to a bait fish shape like this one here. To get the fiber to spread out, shake the fly before starting. You want them to fan out like so. Now make a cut straight back right below the hook. Turn your fly over and make another cut straight back about the same depth. Round off the front corners and trim the back to length carefully. Shape your fly by stroking the fibers back to know where you need to make trims. Then fan it out again and trim. Do this multiple times throughout the trimming process, making sure to make even cuts on both sides. You will end up with the fiber squared off at the cut when you are done. 
so I like to trim the fiber slightly on an angle to make the fly more natural and round looking. But this is not necessary and can be tricky, so be careful if you do this. Once you trim your fly to the correct size and shape, you can start adding the eyes. I like adding a drop of Zappa Gap Goo to my bodkin, then using the bodkin to place the eye on the fly. This dries a bit slower than super glue and allows you to move the fly around for a few seconds to get them into the correct place. Try to make your eyes as even as possible as this will help the flies tracking when being stripped. This is not necessary, but I like adding UV curing resin to the head and eyes to really lock everything in place. I am using a product by Solarez called Bone Dry. It can be applied with the built-in cap brush and cures very quickly. The first coat you want to paint on the head of the fly and barely get the eyes. Then zap it with your curing light. Then I add a second coat, this time covering the eyes completely and up over the top of the eyes. I leave the bottom alone on this coat to ensure that the fibers on the underside of the fly don't harden and get in the way of the hook set. And there we have it, an EP style baitfish fly. While it does still take a while to tie, I believe this technique to be slightly easier. These move wonderfully in the water and really do look like a small bait fish. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Check out my website for more videos at mcflyangler.com. Now go catch some fish.